Shut the windows, close the doors, turn your VPNs on, maybe make a tinfoil hat real quick. We're about to talk some crazy talk, all right? This isn't for the weak-willed or the simple-minded. Are you ready? Being locked indoors for extended periods of time can make people come up with some more gribble-esque theories. However, the latest flood of conspiracy theories are simply the newest of the bunch. Folks have always had far-fetched hypotheses and they change with the times. Most, when put under some form of scrutiny, fall apart. But some manage to hold up and continually encourage people to believe. Hello horror heads and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. I'm your horror host, Keegan Hughes, and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 scary conspiracy theories that might be true. Before we get going, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more insane ideas. Perfect, let's begin. Coming in at number five, we've got weather controlling labs in Alaska. You heard me right. Some people have decided that a research lab up north is actually meant to control the weather. This could be a decent movie plot, but is there anything to this theory? There is an actual facility in Alaska known as the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, or HARP. Built to study the ionosphere, an energetic and largely inaccessible section of the upper atmosphere, it makes use of a high-powered radio frequency transmitter to perturb the area and then measure the perturbations. It looks like a fenced-off field with antennas, which is, I guess, fertile ground for conspiracies. While everyone involved with the research program itself maintains that it is strictly used for research purposes, many skeptics claim otherwise. Some think that the lab can be used to control the weather and has been used to cause problems for people around the world. From droughts to unusually high wind speeds, there isn't much that hasn't been blamed on the government or military altering weather patterns. It seems that some even think that it caused the Columbia Space Shuttle to self-destruct. If that isn't far-fetched enough for you, people have also come forward with claims that HARP can trigger earthquakes, turn the atmosphere into a giant lens, and even flip the Earth's magnetic poles. Mind control's on the table too. All these theories intensified when the Air Force announced that they would be ending the program and potentially destroying the physical equipment. Folks seem to take that as an admission to some fishy business. Eventually, in 2016, it was announced that HARP would be opening up for an annual open house to dissuade visitors of those ideas. Maybe it'll convince the conspiracy theorists, or maybe it'll convince them that they got too close to the truth. Coming in at number four, we've got the Yellowstone Volcano. Don't worry about Yogi and Boo Boo, they're at Jellystone for the time being, but the rest of us might need to brush up on our lava survival tactics. Beneath the famous geysers and springs lies a massive supervolcano. Known as the Yellowstone supervolcano, it is thousands of times more powerful than your average volcano. If it were to erupt, it would cause untold destruction across America. Ash and debris would fly for potentially thousands of miles, covering the landscape with volcanic dust. Needless to say, things wouldn't be easy. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like the volcano will erupt anytime soon. Or will it? The first gigantic eruption of this volcano happened 2.1 million years ago, followed by two more. One happened 1.3 million years ago, and another 664,000 years ago. So we shouldn't get one in our lifetime, right? Well, some conspiracy theorists say that we're in more danger than we might think. Depending on who you ask, you might get different answers concerning a Yellowstone eruption. Some say that the next eruption will be small potatoes and won't amount to much, but others think that it'll be huge and the government knows exactly when it'll happen. If the government knows when it'll happen and won't let the public know, one might assume that it'll be within a few lifetimes and therefore is a real terrifying threat. Maybe this information can be used to leverage power or keep the populace blissfully unaware, but who knows. But if the volcano is going to explode soon, sending volcanic ash all over the place, the people should probably know. Or maybe not, considering how the general public usually deals with bad news. Coming in at number three, we've got the Brunswick Mineral Springs. We'll stick with the geothermal conspiracies for a moment. In Vermont, there's a place known as the Northeast Kingdom, famous for its natural beauty and mysterious springs. There are six streams of water flowing side by side, each with totally different mineral content. Iron, calcium, magnesium, white sulfur, bromide, and arsenic. Stay away from that last one. Way back in the day, these springs were seen as medicinal miracles by the indigenous folks around there. They believed that the waters were meant to be shared with anyone who needed them. However, as they tend to do, some colonizers decided that these waters should be sold for profit. Thus began a skirmish between some enterprising businessmen and a couple young individuals tasked with protecting the springs. The colonizers killed the protectors, drawing the ire of a local shaman. The shaman said that anyone who would use these sacred waters for profit would never prosper. A warning or a curse? Well, the second is claimed to be true by conspiracy theorists. Since the shaman proclaimed the perils of profiteering, four hotels have opened nearby, and all four have mysteriously burned down. It could be a curse, it could be a secret society of spring protectors, or maybe it's just bad luck. 
But there's no way to know for sure at the moment, and it's not likely that folks will ever really figure it out. But as long as the healing waters flow, you can bet that strange things will occur in the Northeast Kingdom. Coming in at number two, we've got the oddities at Denver Airport. There's a whole lot to consider here. The Denver Airport is absolutely massive, twice the size of Manhattan proper. This shouldn't come as too big a surprise though, considering that it is one of the United States' busiest runways. Sending off millions and millions of travelers, this place seems to be pretty normal at least on the surface. But ever since the airport opened in 1995, it has been subject to all sorts of occult claims. First and foremost, the Denver airport went way over budget, over $2 billion apparently. Why and how would they go so far over budget? Well, some claim that these airport expenditures are actually to cover up for some more sinister spending. Claims that the airport shelters many apocalypse bunkers for the world elite are about, with connections between the Freemasons and the Illuminati being drawn. What better place to hide a major secret society than at a major airport, right? These theories are supported by strange evidence from around the many hangars and gates. There is an engraving crediting the airport to the New World Airport Commission. This rubs some folks the wrong way, since such no organization exists. However, this name was chosen by an arts advocate who wanted to reference Dvorak's New World Symphony. Interesting. There's also plenty of art throughout the airport that signals something strange going on. Murals of burning buildings and authoritarian figures can be found all over the place, encouraging conspiracy theorists to draw up apocalyptic ideas. Do the murals predict the end of the world? Well, if viewed in context, they actually present us with a story, beginning with horror and ending with a utopian vision of peace and environmental stewardship. Huh. Of course, what's a good conspiracy theory without the mention of aliens, though? Maybe even some ike style reptoids. All sorts of sightings have been circulated, with folks saying that they've seen green people running around, or vaguely reptilian graffiti somewhere. Speaking to those in charge of the airport, a lot of what people are seeing or claiming to see is the results of workers embracing the mystique of the airport. They've been known to pull pranks, add goofy art to the walls and underground areas, and more. Although, that is just what they would want you to think, isn't it? If you're interested enough, add visiting the Denver airport to your bucket list, and let me know what you find out. And finally, at number one, aliens. Speaking of aliens, we've got the most fundamental of conspiracy theories. Extraterrestrial life, mucking around in our human business. Isn't that just the most exciting idea of all? The best part is nobody can really prove anything in either direction. Arguing that there is no such thing as extraterrestrial life will likely land you in the same place as arguing that there is. There are plenty of conspiracies concerning aliens floating around though. There's Area 51, the legendary government complex that may or may not be full to the brim with life beyond our own. Is the government experimenting on these little green weirdos? Are they hiding alien technology from the general public? Did Lil Nas X manage to smuggle an alien out? We may never know. Beyond just the knowledge of aliens, there are conspiracy theories concerning aliens affecting life on Earth. Some say that aliens did Stonehenge. Others said they built the pyramids. Some say they've kidnapped, probed, and replaced certain people, leaving an alien presence on planet Earth. Pod people could already be among us. Again, we may never actually know. So what's your favorite alien conspiracy theory? There seems to be a lot of them. Well, we made it to the end of the list. I wonder how many government watch lists I've managed to get myself on at this point. Oh well, I'd do it for you folks. So, what did you think? Do you believe any of the theories I presented? Because I'm not so sure that I do. Have you ever stumbled upon something unexplainable? On a scale of Katniss Everdeen to Ned Stark, how much do you distrust the government? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more inexcusable ones from the top five biggest jump scares in horror movies. Tom XRO says, not horror, but Bilbo and the ring in the first Lord of the Rings always gets me. Oh, that's a real good one. You don't expect to see something like that in the Shire now, do you? Taya001 says, one big jump scare not in a horror movie that shocked me deeply is the dead body of the faux Batman in the Dark Knight slamming into the windows. I think the makeup job on that cadaver is pretty frightening too. Robin Blackwood says, the number five one is so weird because whenever I think about it, I always think it's kind of goofy with the weird makeup, but then whenever I watch it, I die a little on the inside from the scare. That's the mark of a top-notch scare. Even when you're ready for it, it gets you. Victor Valdez says if they ever make a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, that will have to be on the jump scares list. Oh, you would probably be able to make a couple lists just on the jump scares alone in that movie. It's kind of their thing, isn't it? Steve Reynolds says, meh, I've had bigger jump scares from farts that turned into sharts. And I'm sure whoever was doing your laundry at the time also experienced a few jump scares. Maybe lay off the gas station burritos for a bit. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I head off to meet my friends, the executioner of the Dragon Slayer, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more pernicious peril. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Folks have always had self-destruct. Let's say self-destruct.
Thus began a skirmish of Whoa, that's a weird sentence that I wrote there. Claims that the airport shelter is many. These theories are supported by strange evidence from Well, of course, there's also the conspiracy theory. Nope. Of course, what? Uh, maybe even some ick. Ikey, Ikey, Ikey. Speaking to these. Speaking to those in charge of the airport, a lot of the people are seeing. If you're interested enough, try. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, well, it's okay. I do it for you guys, folks. I wrote, folks. I will say, folks. Tom XRO says, not horror, but Bilbo and the Ring in the first LOTR really gets me. I should say Lord of the Rings, shouldn't I? Victor Valdez says, if they ever make an FN. See, I wrote all these acronyms, but I meant to just say the words.